Good afternoon, Trailblazer fans. Welcome inside the Amsler Campus Center Gymnasium. I'm your host, Assistant Athletic Director Jeff Polari, here with women's basketball senior Courtney McLaughlin. Court, how are you doing today? Good. How are you? Great. Thanks for uh, joining us here in the middle of uh, women's basketball season. Off to a 3-3 three and three start uh, on the season. Uh, just talk about what the mindset and what the focus is at practice at this point in the season. Um, yeah, I think that we've gotten off to a pretty good start, but I think that mainly we've been focusing on our defense um, because most of the time with us, our, our good defense transfers into good offense, so I think we've been focusing on that a lot. Kind of nearing the end of the first semester, we've got a couple of games uh, left on the regular season schedule here before break. Uh, midweek game at Simmons on Thursday night, followed by the uh, home finale in the first semester against Union. What should we be looking for in those uh, two games? Well, definitely looking forward to uh, two Ws. Um, well, typically you'd have two or three weeks off off this year, a uh, trip to Daytona Beach uh, right in the middle um, and about 10 days out. What's the team looking forward to most uh, with that trip to Florida? Well, I think we're definitely looking forward to getting out of the area a little bit. Um, the past few years we've kind of stayed local and I think that we're just looking forward to getting out of the area and playing some new competition. You've had a, a great start to your senior season, leading the team in scoring. I believe you've led the uh, team in four out of six games. You've been in double figures um, every time out so this year. Uh, what's been your mind mindset this year a little different than in years past? Um, I think this year I'm more looking forward to um, attacking the basket and just trying to create some offense and get everyone kind of rolling. Our offense has been a little slow this year, but I think that attacking and getting some outside looks has been my main focus. And you shot the ball pretty well from beyond the arc so far, leading the team in three-point field goals. Uh, again, a little change from where you've been, where normally you've been attacking uh, the basket, so to speak. What's been your difference as a shooter this year? Um, I think I've had a little bit of more confidence this year. Um, obviously, knocking down some shots in the beginning of the year has led to me taking a few more and I think that uh, just confidence and my teammates getting me the ball has really been my main focus on that. Coming into your senior year, you have an outside shot at reaching the 1,000-point plateau, which is kind of the benchmark in basketball. Uh, what would scoring a 1,000 points uh, mean to you personally in a Trailblazer uniform? Well, it would mean a lot to me. Um, I never got that opportunity in high school, and I think that it would be a great milestone for me to pass. But right now, I'm kind of just focusing on winning. Great. Great aspect to have. What do the Trailblazers have to do? Last year was the first time they qualified for the postseason in a number of years, got into the MASCAC playoffs, uh, won the quarter final matchup, got to the semifinal round. What do we have to do to get back in the playoffs, uh, but also to dig a little bit deeper into the postseason uh, run for this year? Yeah, I think that uh, we definitely need to work on perfecting our defense. I think that there are a lot of threats in the MASCAC, and I think that we need to work on um, just really getting our defense more uh, upbeat and pressure, ball pressure, and I think that if we want to have a better chance, we need to have definitely a more post presence on that. There's some big girls in the MASCAC. You came from Pittsfield High School, had a very decorated career, uh, led PHS in scoring, uh, you know, all Berkshire selection. Um, talk about your opportunity to come up to MCLA, a, a school that's very local, very close to home, and what that means to you in terms of your career. I definitely think it was a great opportunity. Um, staying close to home, my parents can still come support me at the games, and I, I liked the idea of staying in Berkshire County. I think that a lot of the people that are looking for school to kind of uh, bypass MCLA, but it's really a great opportunity to stay local. Great advice. And being a Berkshire County resident, if you were to talk to a potential recruit, whether it be a Berkshire County potential student or somebody outside uh, the Berkshires, what would you tell that student about MCLA and specifically the women's basketball program? Well, I think that the advice I would give is that it's a great time to join our program. Um, with a new head coach and some new leadership on our team, I think that, that now would be a great time to join because I see a lot of potential for the future in this program. Awesome. Great stuff. Well, Courtney, I appreciate you being here with us today. I wish you the best of luck in your pursuit of 1,000 points and getting MCLA back into the postseason. Trailblazer fans, for everything MCLA Athletics, please log on to our social media sites, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. I'm your host, Jeff Polari. Thanks, and have a great afternoon.